Uh, well, a couple of years ago, the CMA put in um, for funding under the Australian Government's Clean Energy Future Biodiversity Fund to target investment uh, in the fish river catchment. It's been a project that has been well worthwhile and a project that I couldn't have afforded to do without the help. When you look at it at a landscape scale, where a number of properties are doing similar things and protecting the, the riparian areas and the remnant vegetation, um, it has a large scale impact on, on those farmers in terms of you know, being able to look after the land, being you know, real custodians and, and, and good stewards of the land as well, and being able to, I suppose, put something back. It is 200 years this week that uh, Evans the surveyor walked along the banks of this river uh, leading to the foundation of Bathurst. So to my mind it's a wonderful piece of history and I'd like to think that it is being restored to what it would have looked like all those years ago. So basically we've been offering incentive funding for landholders to do a number of works. That's including fencing to control stock access to riparian areas or remnant vegetation blocks. Uh, looking at alternative watering points. We're looking at also, you know, enhancing the biodiversity of our, of our vegetation. Well, the, the river was, to a large extent, unaccessible. Uh, it was inundated with, uh, with willows, with blackberries and other noxious weeds. So putting in revegetation and trying to manage, manage those uh, ecosystems for biodiversity purposes. Uh, it was very unattractive and uh, it needed, to my mind, a lot of urgent attention. We've also looked at uh, also planting trees as part of the revegetation component, so funding for trees to go in along the waterways uh, and also for those wildlife corridors uh, with linking those areas up to the river and also those remnant vegetation areas. The clearing of the river enabled us to get in and clear up around the banks and really added to the luster uh, of the whole exercise. We are merely the custodians of the land uh, and I think the older, older you get, the more you realise that you've got an obligation. You know, we'll have cleaner waters going through our rivers and ending up in our storage areas where, where we do use our water for drinking and also recreation. I think it's really important for people to have that, that connection to the land and having you know, a beautiful environment to grow up and, and enjoy. The greater good is that we have done something that we think as uh, custodians rather than landholders, we owe it to the Australian public uh, to preserve the historic buildings, to return the area of the river uh, and the, uh, the streams associated with the river as best we can back to their original condition uh, under the guidance and supervision of people who have the requisite skills and experience to assist us in doing it. The local land services in the Central Tablelands here um, we'll, we'll still have another year and a half essentially of funding under the Fish River so uh, that won't change 